Hi folks, Dan the Wolfman here, armed guard, been through, uh, done the firearms training through SWAT school. I'm going to do my attempt at the Dickin or Dickens drill or Eli drill. I had a very important um, video a few days ago about FBI, look up FBI, CCW 94% plus effective in mass shootings. Look at that video because it's actually three FBI study stats and it's actually gone up exponentially since then. How effective a good guy with a gun, a CCW, a regular civilian is at stopping mass free murderers. Okay, it doesn't care what tool it is. But as long as the uh, good guy is not the first one shot, they are extremely, utterly effective. But a couple times the guy with the CCW just happened to be the first guy shot. Even in the Indiana Mall incidents, the first man murdered as a uh, shit bag was coming out of the bathroom, he was carrying as well. People should know that as well. So a lot of people are ready to protect themselves the way it should be. And look at that video, share that video about the FBI stats. I'm gonna try the Eli drill. I'm not happy about guys just with red jocks, no exercise, doing it at 40 yards. Do it with a little bit of exercise first, jack your heart rate up. Uh, I will probably do it eventually at just 40 yards, and I'm also going to do it f from doing 10 jumping jacks at 35 yards or from 40 yards running to 35 yards using that little pole I got set up there as my pole. I think, as I said in the video, it was more likely like you did something like that, ran from 40 to somewhere between 30 and 40, did five shots. I think I'm hearing some reports, maybe it was two shots that hit the bad guy, got reaction to him trying to retract to cover back into the bathroom. And then um, did a walk drill. So I want to run it that way. Two shots from 35 and then a walk drill every time I put my left foot forward uh, doing a shot to my 10 shots. Nine shots and a 45 I'm going to do. I'm going to also do two micro compact nine millimeters. And if I have time, hopefully I can get to my full size duty weapon. You can watch a video on my choice for duty carry, my job carry, uh, John Wick's gun. So here we go. In a second here, I'm going to show you the targets I'm going to use, and I want to explain something. When you deal with bad guys, they're not standing square to you. And in this instance, I'm quite sure he was most likely assuming he's right-handed. Shitbag was murdering people from here, from a bladed stance. And even if he turned after getting hit a couple times, most likely, he's retracting, being the coward he is, even if he fired Eli, which I doubt, it would have been bladed stance this way. It would not have been this. You don't shoot a rifle like this. So I'm going to do the first run, and I'm probably going to get all misses because I'm going to do it on a bladed mass shooter type of target from Targets Online. And so if he first engaged and took his time, it's when he was here. It most likely was not a guy with a rifle like this. And I think that's very important to understand the width and stuff. And then you have a guy moving, probably hit, changed his actions as he's trying to retract, whether he fired any rounds at Eli or not, as he's scouring, trying to get away back to cover like the coward shitbag that he was. And I want to show you the targets and the contenders, what I'll be using if I have time, if no one shows up to the rifle range today. So talking about what I was, this is the type of target someone's using. This is actually a very good target to use. Say, um, Dynamics uses this, Aaron Cowan, and um, it is 18 inches wide by 30 inches tall. This is very much like a typical USPSA or IDPA type target, but that's pretty wide and obviously very square. This is probably what I'll have to use if I, you know, suck so bad the first run. And he's about 16 inches wide up here and about 18 inches wide upper thoracic where you should be aiming here, taking into consideration bullet drop, so maybe even a little higher. And, um, you know, this is more what a skinny bad guy looks like, okay? And over here, we see how much more difficult it is with someone bladed. Usually for these, I use someone that has a long gun. I think I'm out of those targets. There's great targets. My targets online use code Dan the Wolfman to get a discount. He's only 11 to 12 inches wide if you're going for not headshots from here down to like here. And I would think you would want to aim at a good distance. You want to aim about there considering bullet drop. And if a closer uh, attacker, you want to aim about there behind trying to miss the shoulder blow blade and thinking about not here is the center of the target, but here based on angle and three dimensions. Okay. 
Uh, first one up, I'm going to do 45 that I've borrowed, managed to make a video on. Very rare. Smith & Wesson 4513TSW. Look at my unboxing and range review of that. So nine rounds. If I can get seven out of nine, I would be oh so happy with that. 77.77% at 80%, but much more tissue crush. Uh, quicker stopping ability with a 45, whether you believe it or not. It's called math and physiology. And then the Shield Plus. This is kind of big on the micro compact size or it's a sub sub compact size. But then a real micro compact, uh, my backup gun, Max 9, and I will be taking it out of the left hand of the pocket, switching over the right hand, as I would if that happened to be the only pistol I was carrying. But usually it would be something more like this. And, of course, it will be easiest with a full size, uh, which is uh, John Wick's gun. I beat him up and took it, and that's what I carry on duty. So let's see how we do. Because of the uneven train, I backed it up to 40 yards. You have to trust me. I'm just going to do it from 40. I'm going to back up two yards do 10 jumping jacks. Voice commands after startled response. Make a startled response from the first gunshot you hear. Push your girlfriend down to the ground. Yell, everybody, get down, get down, get out. And then start to engage. Time-wise, you'll just have to go on your own. I'll try to get it on splits, but I doubt it. My glasses are fogging up really bad. It's hot. I'm tired. I've already worked over 10 hours. And, uh, yeah, anyway, let's see. I doubt I can get on splits. You can replay the video. I mean, that's the magic, right? You can, you can time it yourself. I'm not using my glasses. I think it's safe to do so at this range. Okay. Splits. Here we go. Get down! Everybody get out behind me! Get down, get down, get down! Feels like I'm pulling those left. The one left. Now remember, I'm using a bladed target much thinner, like a real deal. Okay, and I'm using a 45, no red dot. Uh, not great. Not great at all. I got one in the head there. That would be pretty much luck because I started aiming here and then I started aiming more like here. I went from here to here because of the massive bullet drop, especially with Reman 45. So two inches for HSTs. Reman, this could be three and a half, four inches drop, five inches drop if the velocity is low enough. It depends. I got one, two, three, four good here in the body. Uh, that's just a little low and these two are quite low, but those are pretty good. And 45 is going to do more tissue crush than nine millimeter. Is that great? No, that's five out of nine. That's like really low percentage, not eight out of 10. Uh, but, uh, wanted to see how it was. Let's try it with something else. The previous 45, I had only shot once. I'm now going to shoot uh, shield plus for, I think the fourth time. And, um, the rear sight is actually a little off. It's not just me over gripping and trigger control. Why most people shoot left, this one actually is a little off from the factory and I've seen far worse. So uh, that's kind of important too. Uh, let's see how I do now. Okay, in time that was way over par. You're just gonna have to see how it goes. And I'm obviously adding vocalization and pushing people out of the way. Get down, get down! Everyone get out behind me! Rushed last year because I know I was way over par. Uh, nice new crossbreed full Kydex holster. Full Kydex. And much better this go around 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 1. 1, 2, 3 in the lumber. Low lumber. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And nine there in the head. I think I aimed the last couple a little high and rushed. And one of those last two, I think, is my miss, most likely. You get lucky, you drop them. Aim high, upper thoracic. Think about bullet dropping low. Nine millimeters, not a lot. 
And I think about you are a right-handed shooter. Most people are going to pull low left. Left-handed is going to pull low right. Keep that in mind, uh, but much better. I'm very happy with 9 out of 10, though I'm sure my part-time was uh, far over. All right, guys, now with my backup gun, Ruger Max 9 Pro that I carry in my offside, my offhand, left front pocket with our mat work all the time. There has occasionally been times where that's the only one I've had on me. I try not to do that, especially if I'm going to Walmart or mall or a place with a lot of people that could be a target. Okay, I'm going to go. And you're just going to have to play back the time. But remember, I'm shooting 11 to 12 inch wide bladed targets, not the 18 inches wide targets like everybody else is doing. And they're shooting so low left, it would be misses on these targets. All right. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. All right, hope you're enjoying it. Thumb up, share, subscribe. Let's see how I did, and maybe we'll go to the full size. Well, it impressed me in my micro compact versus full size at 25 yards. I did five for five A zone. Those extra jumping jacks, real heart rate, real adrenaline rush, certainly hurt me as well as the front sight is a wide fiber optic slash tritium, and that really hurt me. So, one, two, three, four, all low, five. Only five out of ten, but remember, I'm if I was shooting an 18-inch wide target, six, seven, and eight, it would have been eight out of ten would have hit as well, and then I'd be like an awesome, awesome Instagram guy, especially if I had a full size with a red dot. Showing you how difficult things are, and I think those extra uh, jumping jacks were more to do with it, but you see it's all pretty much too far low left. Nothing was upper thoracic, nothing was head, and... Um, so maybe some over-muscling, over-dipping, pre-ignition type stuff going on there when the adrenaline's up. That's reality. Uh, I'll try to do on a more 16 inches to 18 inches wide target with a full size. And guys, by the way, I replayed the earlier videos. I was not shooting left-handed. Brand new camera, uh, brand new phone. It made it look like I was shooting left-handed. I was not. I was shooting right-handed this whole time. Even now, I was carrying left front pocket. I transitioned to my right hand to get better accuracy since it wasn't a five-yard and in backup gun situation. It was, that's the only one I got on me, and I got to be realism, which I have done in one of my almost defensive gun uses before having to draw from the left front pocket and pass it to my right hand when you're in a non-permissive environment. Make sure to fight the algorithm or you thumbs up, share, subscribe. We'll keep talking. We'll keep doing. Now with the full size, what I carry, I choose to carry at my job. I beat up John Wake and stole his pistol from him. The HKP30L. Look at my video why I pick why I choose John Wick's pistol. All right, here we go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. James Custom, uh, no, I'm sorry, Tolster Holster, Tolster Holster, uh, appendix that time, guys, use code Dan the Wolfman, get 15% off, uh, let's see how I did, I need to work on my long range pistol shooting, long day at work, tired, some medical issues possibly coming into play here, I only got one, two, three, four on this guy, we don't know if I drop uh, some in his legs lower than that, or if they're all low left even though i'm doing some kentucky windage and really i'm aiming up there so i'm dipping uh that's reality and uh yeah that doesn't make you instagram famous it doesn't make you youtube famous i'm gonna redo it but there's no redos in real life there's no redos and uh, i don't even know if those would have stopped an attack hopefully 
right? They're not deadly unless that got lucky, hit that brachiority, that got lucky, hit that femoral artery. I mean, these wound the guy and hopefully make him go, go away. Uh, but, you know, I'm over part time and I'm missing shots. I'm missing shots. I'm tired. It's late. I'm ready to go home and clean guns and get to work. But let's do it one more time. Hey guys, if you're with me so far still, thank you so much. I'm gonna hit it again and then maybe even again. Um, I wanna do again with the uh, P30L and then with the Ruger Max 9 Pro again, a fair shot. Uh, working from a Tolster holster with this, use uh, code Dan the Wolfman. Get 15% off the links in some of my bigger videos. Okay, so, uh, and I'm using like big dot style night sights, thick wide stuff, what I like, because look at my video a few days ago about CCW statistics, the 3579. Look at that, that is still, this is an extreme fire, that is still uh, by far the norm. Uh, but I need to work on my long range pistol shooting, maybe we all do. And guys, also look at all my videos of uh, doing the 15 yard headshot drill, uh, the Jack Wilson drill. I got a lot of Jack Wilson drill videos, you should be doing those as well. Okay, here we go. I like scissor jacks better, but people don't know how to do that. Get down, get down, everyone, get down! So I did. Well, that's a lot better and more like it. One in the head, one, two, three in the heart, four at the spine, five, six, two low left, seven low left, eight barely, barely hitting, but we'll call that a hit, eight out of ten. I did it this time, even though it's a slightly narrower target, like his hips are probably uh, like 14. So yeah, that's still a good hit, uh, guys. That's more like it, but again, remember, I'm using like some Kentucky windage here. I'm aiming up here because I know what I do as a right hand, left eye dominant, over muscling, over gripping, and then some of that's trigger control. Uh, but uh, what, eight out of 10, that's better. I want to run the Max 9 Pro one more time and I'm exhausted and I pulled my hammy a little bit. All right, guys, losing light. I want to do a second take with the Ruger Max 9 Pro because I did so many jumping jacks earlier. Uh, I'm trying to show you realism instead of just nice and calm and red dot and big pistol. That's not what we're reenacting. We're reenacting how difficult the real deal might be. And again, they're not even moving. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Train, train, train. Look at my CCW statistics 3579 drill. That is far more likely what you're going to have to deal with in this extreme outcome, no matter what the media tells you. But you should do some 15-year-old headshot. Jack Wilson drills. I have a lot of video doing that. I'm losing light. And then you should do uh, the hero's drill. Hero's drill here as well. Okay, here we go. Get down, get down! Okay, I already know I threw one. Uh, the first one was, uh, let's just say, it was way off. Okay, and I'm using hot 124, just like I would do in carrying. Guys, I'm extremely tired. I'm doing a lot of drills. I worked a lot. There's my disclaimer. The first shot I put on the left target, it was a hit, and it was an A-zone upper thoracic hit. At that, I transition to my second active killer here. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six. So six out of 10, that's better than five out of 10. And they weren't low like the first time with the Max 9. Now I got good upper thoracic hits that are fight stopping hits. At least this one, this one, this one, that one. At least four out of the six hits were fight stopping and those are definitely gonna make him 
change his actions. Guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. If you stayed with me all this way, or you just watched each individual video, cool. I did a lot with four different pistols from micro to full size. I, I try to do it in a more realistic way. On the first one were bladed 11 to 12 inches wide targets as opposed to 18 inches, like, uh, and even these are thinner. Um, so keep that in mind, no red dot. Only one pistol is full size. Uh, anyway, guys, train up, train smart. Most importantly, share about the CCW statistics. I was 94% plus, 94% three FBI studies. And in the last three year, in the last one year, I know of at least three uh, times a CCW carrier or a home defender was able to stop a mass shooter, including a female uh, the day after the school shooting. So uh, guys, spread the word. Stay safe, stay strapped. Always remember your ABCs. Always be caring. Cheers.